Three Bowl Takes is back with another bowl game. And this is honestly one of my favorite names of a bowl game, and that is the Pop-Tarts Bowl. Love me some Pop-Tarts. That was the goat breakfast as a little kid, even to this day. Um, but in the Pop-Tart Bowl this year, we have NC State at 9-3 and three and Kansas State at 8-4. and four. Uh, Kansas State is a two-and-a-half point favorite with, oh, wow, this is almost split down the middle, 51% of America picking Kansas State. So, Chase, let's go to you first in this one. Um, who do you like to win the Pop-Tart Bowl? Man, absolute streak. Uh, North Carolina State went on to end the season 5-0, and beating Clemson, Miami, and their bitter rival, North Carolina. However, Kansas State on the opposite side, losing two big games, one to Iowa State and one to Texas, a heartbreaker in OT. You got that, and then you also have Will Howard leaving for the transfer portal, talking to USC, talking to other teams, but you don't have him there for Kansas State. Personally, it's kind of an easy decision for me. I'm going to go North Carolina State in this game. Also love their coaching. Uh, they lost their quarterback last year to Kentucky, and it is slipping my mind right now. His name, uh, the lefty, Quinn, you have Devin Kentucky. Leary. Oh, Devin yeah. Leary, there it is. Lose him right, expecting a 6-6, six 7-5 and six, seven and five season. You make it to 9-3. and three. The coaching over there in North Carolina State is absolutely phenomenal as well. So I'm going to ride with the NCSU over Kansas State. Quinn? Yeah, you know, I think first off, the most interesting thing about this uh, bowl game is last I saw, these two teams have the most players in the transfer portal of any team in the top 25. Uh, and so, like, when you look at this game, and that might have gotten passed by Ohio State in regards of Kansas State, but I'm, I'm not, I don't think so. And when you look at it, even, even if they're two of only, like, four teams in double digits in the top 25, of transfers and unlike Ohio state, the reason for that is they're stuck in the purgatory of power five teams who do not offer like the big bucks that the sec brands or the mega brands, the big 10 and big 12 offer. So both teams are going to be like beat up with, with transfers. So I don't think there's an edge per se to that aspect of the game. When I look at, who do I trust more to win this game? I go NC State. And the reason I go NC State is they are consistently, just consistently a competitive football team every year. Like, I remember you you think of the Clemson seasons when they were constantly winning the ACC. The team that people would point to was, oh no, Clemson might slip up here, North Carolina State, every time. And those games were always hyper-competitive, despite the fact that they were way out talented on the field. So uh, give, give me NC State to take this game. But I think it'll be a very close and very entertaining matchup. Yeah, that's this is a very interesting and entertaining matchup here. Um, NC State did come in third in the, in the ACC, uh, which is very impressive, Chase, as you mentioned, that they went on that run at the end of the year um, to get to this point uh, being ranked in the top 20. Uh, and then Kansas State, you know, it is what it is, you know. That they won uh, the Big Twelve last year, and then this year, what did you expect? You expected a little down season, and that's kind of what we've gotten. But to be fair, I mean, Kansas State eight and four. You like to be between the eight, nine, ten win category for a Kansas State every year. You know, this isn't a team that you're expecting eleven wins plus in in, in any given year. So ranked in the top twenty five here to, in, in bowl season, pretty successful year. Um. Wow, ESPN has it at 74% Kansas State to win this game. Um I'm going to I'm going to go with Kansas State here and, and and the reason being is because I think the Big 12 is better than the ACC. Um and the records here are pretty similar, but I think that because the Big 12 was better, Kansas State played a little bit better competition, played Texas really close, um that sort of thing. Um but Give me Kansas State to win uh, this one. Do they cover the three points? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say they cover the three points and win by like six. 